Hi, I'm Jennifer Gunn, and I play flute and piccolo with the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. We knew that once we got to the fourth grade, we would get a chance to pick a band instrument. My twin sister chose clarinet, and I chose saxophone because my mom would not let me play violin, and, um, and I thought saxophone was pretty cool. We would walk home from school every day. It was probably about a mile walk, and I would get tired halfway through the walk and beg my sister to trade instruments with me because her clarinet case was really, really tiny compared to my big old saxophone case. So she would switch, and then, I don't know, it was maybe a month or two into these walks, she decided she wasn't going to do that anymore. She wasn't going to switch because she sort of realized that I was just conning her into carrying my big instrument. So I had to carry this home, and I didn't want to do it anymore. I decided I didn't like saxophone anymore, and I went to my mom and said, I don't want to play this instrument. I want to play violin, and she wouldn't let me. So I cried about it or something, and, um, and then she said, well, why don't you try flute? I mean, it's smaller, and it's pretty, and, um, and I said, okay, fine. So I would go every day to the high school after school and try to catch up on flute, and I was horrible at it. I couldn't make a sound. It was just, it was not a good experience for me at the beginning, but I stuck with it. If you've ever tried the flute, it can be very difficult. You blow all this air out, you get very lightheaded, and I was on the verge of passing out every time I tried to pick up my flute. But all these other kids were making these pretty sounds, and I wanted to do it too. If someone else can do it, that means it can be done, and I can do it too. If you play flute or any instrument, I think that's great. Sometimes playing an instrument can be difficult, but music is so worth it, I think you should stick with it. I looked up to the older kids and I wanted to be like them and it was fun. I had lots of friends through the band and that's I probably st stuck with flute through the band program because it was a way of socializing and making friends. And although I didn't enjoy wearing the band uniform, I did uh I did take pride in representing my school. When I'm not listening to classical music, which I do love to do very much in my spare time, uh, I think it's great to listen to all kinds of music. I love musical theater. I draw a lot of influence from uh, people's singing voices in the way I play. I love to listen to pop music, just music that I can just relax to. I really like listening to flute music, and I'm preparing for an upcoming recital, and I'm going to listen to a Bach flute sonata. Jonathan is a clarinetist and he's an orchestral musician also. We love uh, playing music together. We've played uh, recitals together, flute and clarinet duets, and uh, we have a lot of fun um, listening to music together and going to concerts together. Our dog's name is Brody and our cat is Mina. The dog gets in trouble a lot. Not a lot. Um, he's a great, great dog. He's a yellow lab. And, um, but he does like to do a little bit of bad things, like he'll eat the cat's food, or he likes soap, so he'll go eat soap and that's not good for him. The preparation involved to achieve a job like this is very demanding, but in the end is very satisfying. At the root of it all is that exhilaration of doing your best. My desire for the achievement of my work kept me going and playing the flute was always a kind of a self-expression that was happy or sad I could go to it I wouldn't have to um, explain how I felt to anyone I could just express myself 
And it was sort of a way to feel better about myself and just have music take me to a new place.